sometimes I'm beside myself when I edit my content for you. I think to myself, what was I thinking? Who is this man speaking right now? And this is one of those moments. I want to preface this before I release this video and tell everyone out there that this rant that I'm about to release was inspired by a small chihuahua next door that continues to bark for over a week and never stops. And to imagine the life force on this planet to be as loud for as long as consistently is mind numbing at times. And that's just a, a, an understatement. And that, that isn't accurately describing the situation, but this was the case. This was the inspiration for the rant that you're about to see. And I want to extend out my apologies right now to all men who have bought a small dog and love a small dog and all women, just all women out there. I, I just want to put my apologies out there before I release this highlight. And this, this rant is about, in my mind, as misguided as it is, how small dogs came to be on earth. Without further ado, let us watch. I, I, I'm still, I, <laughs> I apologize. A Merry Christmas Eve to all. I do all good night. Men do not get small dogs. Small dogs exist because women thought it would be cute to take a wolf and shrink it down to the size of a pocket doll. Like just, hey, let's take, let's take this wolf that's, let's, you know, cause that's what dogs come from. The taming of the wolves. Some, some wolves decided, hey, it's gonna be cooler for me to, to stick around humans that give me their scraps. And that's what some of the wolves decided. Some of the wolves said, I'm gonna go where the humans exist. I'm gonna make my life easier. I'm gonna go by them. And over the hundreds and over the millennia, they went from like, Argh! very scary wolves to kind of like, Argh! and then, you know, like, hey, the cuter I am, the more scraps I get, evolution kicks in, DNA, genetics, shop, 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 shop. And then you got, you know, a toned down wolf. That's what a dog is. But then, Humans, we had to interfere and, and start fucking around with genetics, and we started making different breeds of dogs, different breeds of wolves, if you will. <laughs> and we started making like smaller dogs. Why? Because women were like, you know, this is just too big. This is uh, the only thing that women want that's not big <laughs> is a dog. <laughs> they want to shrink them. They want to take dogs and they just want to shrink them down. Let's make these dogs smaller. What do you think about that? Huh, Steve? Steve, can we get a smaller dog? Uh, there's no such thing right now. Well, I just want a smaller dog. Well, I want pussy, so I'm going to figure out how to make a smaller dog. All right, let's Fuck around with genetics. <laughs> Here's a smaller dog. That's not small enough. Well, that's the only thing you have ever said that you wanted even smaller. So let's keep on trying. <laughs> How about this? How about a little Shih Tzu? You like a Shih Tzu? And what's up with all the different types of dogs that are like poodle, uh, poodle skis and uh, poo skis and shit skis and shit skis? <laughs> yeah, that's when you take a shit. That's when you take a shih tzu and a husky and you smash it together. You got yourself a shit ski. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just cracking myself up right now. Oh God, I'm talking. I'm I'm speaking truth here. I'm speaking a lot of truth today about about the evolution of dogs and how we got these smaller breeds of dogs this is, a, this is a story about how these small dogs come into existence this the reason why i got this dog next door that doesn't shut the fuck up and that just barks all the goddamn time well i'll tell you why that's because women i love you women i'm just saying i love you women <laughs> But this is why we have small dogs that can't stop barking. Damn it, women. Damn it. You got to ruin everything. Dogs were mostly a man thing. When we started out, it was the bond of a, of a wolf and a man. And wolf was too scary. <laughs> woman was like, fuck this shit. And then a man had to explain to a woman, this wolf does something. This wolf has a purpose. Do you understand? It does stuff for us. Then the woman said, oh, shit. Okay, it does stuff, what can it do? Then a man said, I'm gonna trade it to fetch shit. Well, I don't understand that. Well, I don't understand the practicality of that, said the woman. And the man said, well, let me show you. 
We go out and fetch something, brings it back. The woman says, that's very useful. I think I like it. Great. Man says, I'm going to teach you some other shit. <laughs> I'm going to hunt with this dog. Right. Exactly invisible. I'm going to do things with this dog. The union between a man and a dog was nothing that you could break. That bond was sac that, that, the sacrosanct. That thing was like that. The, the bond between a man and a dog, you can't. And they were big. You understand? They were wolves. They were big. And they didn't bark a lot. The only time they ever growled or barked was when they were in a situation that demanded them to bark or growl. To defend. To attack. Those were the times. They didn't bark because they didn't have anything to do. <laughs> and then. And then. Women wanted them to look cute. And little. And tiny. This, this is a story. This is a story about dogs ladies and gentlemen thank you and the and the reason why i have a yappy yap dog next door to me it's because of you women but i love you i love you women i love you i love you you're enigmas you can't figure yourselves out i can't figure you out you're an enigma woman and i love it you're a mystery that can't be solved and i love you women and that's the attraction. That is what gets us every time. Don't try and figure them out. It's a waste of time, men. It's a waste of time. Just get yourself a large dog that doesn't bark. That's the moral of this story. Today's video has been brought to you by the generous patrons of DG360 who make continued content possible. DG360 patrons enjoy monthly giveaways like Star Citizen packages, Steam gift cards, and any game that you want giveaways. Please consider donating $1 if in any way you enjoy DG360 content. And these difficult times where independent content creation is under attack from the FTC and left to die by YouTube. It's nice to know that I'm appreciated. Thank you.